Hi, I'm Pat with Garmin, and in this video, we will cover some of the shortcuts available on the GTN. The GTN has several shortcuts built in that allow a user to access information more quickly and to operate more efficiently. Sometimes, you need quick access to the moving map page. You can get there by pressing and holding the home button. After a second of holding it, you'll notice text appear that says hold for map. After two seconds of holding, the GTN will display the moving map. Another shortcut on the map allows you to quickly see the flight plan page. When viewing the moving map, you would normally access the flight plan page by going back to the home page and then touching on the flight plan icon, but there is a shorter way to accomplish this. Notice the flight plan and CDI section on the bottom of the moving map page? By touching that section, you will be brought back to the flight plan page, eliminating several steps. The flight plan can be modified, and once done, touch the back arrow to return to the moving map. Next, we move to the audio panel. The emergency frequency can be accessed quickly by pressing and holding the volume knob. This results in a message saying, hold for emergency frequency. After two seconds, 121.5 MHz will be loaded into the active frequency. Another time saver associated with the COM and NAV portion of the GTN is the find feature. This allows you to quickly look through the recently used, nearest, flight plan, and user frequencies. Touch on either the COM or NAV standby frequencies, and you're presented with a keypad. To the left of the frequency field, touch the Find icon. This will bring up a list of the recent, nearest, flight plan, and user frequencies. Once you find the frequency that you're looking for, you can load it to standby simply by touching it. Making that frequency active is as easy as touching the transfer button. The Find feature is present in other locations within the GTN. It's also located on pages that present a keyboard. For example, when looking up waypoint information, you can use the Find feature to quickly access a different airport. From the home page, press Waypoint Info and select Airport. This page will normally default with your destination airport. To change this and bring up the Find feature, touch on the airport name and then on the magnifying glass. This brings up options to see Recent, Nearest, Flight Plan, User, and Search options. You can use this menu to quickly find airports. By touching one of the airports or waypoints on this page, you'll be brought back to the Waypoint Info page. 